Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Aline Perez versus uh, Daria Zalisnikova. Aline Perez, 10-2, and 4-1 and one in her last five fights. Her last loss was against Stephanie Edgar, which is weird if you know how not great Stephanie Edgar is two years ago. Three fight win streak since then. Huge favorite in this matchup at minus 270. 29 years old, 5'5", five, five, with a 66-inch reach, fighting Daria Zelisnikova, 9-1, 4-1 in her last five fights. The one loss is against Melissa Mullins, ground and pound, which again, odd. Uh, actually, yeah, lost to her in the Aries uh, promotion, got back on track, got a win in the UFC against Maserat Rendon, which... And she's not very good either. Pl uh, plus 220 underdog, 28 years old, 5'9", 4 inches taller with a little bit of a reach if it would show it ever. But, you know, I think Perez is a decent. I think she's better than her 10-2 and two record would show. She hasn't fought anybody great, mainly known for her antics after the fight. Five finishes out of her 10 wins, five decision wins, all unanimous. Um, she fought Justin Edwards, long rangey striker, not great. Lucy Pudalova, also not great. Ashley Evan Smith, not great. Even Stephanie Edgar is not great. Lost to by illegal knees in round number three against Tamir Vidal, which, okay. Hasn't fought anybody great. Neither has Zelis uh, 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 Nikova. Neither has a sheep. Two fight winning streak. You know, last fought in March. Five finishes out of her nine wins. One UFC win, obviously. And Rendon's not very good, even though she's 6-0. The problem with this matchup is I just think the better grappler is Aline Perez. I just think she's able to do a little bit better things. So you look right here. Let me make sure it's on the screen. Yep, let me look right here. Zillis Nikova, her average fight time, 15 minutes. I mean, that's just what this fight is. It's, it's just what it is. She has five finishes, two in the first round, three in the second round. She's been finished by, again, by, by Melissa Mullins. 5'9 um, to 5'5, five, five, 68 inch reach to 66 inch, 2 inch reach advantage for Daria. Uh, 28 years old to almost 30 years old. Strikes landed per minute is 3.80 to 2.91. Accuracy is 38 to 58. So she throws a lot, but she misses a lot, does Daria. Uh, strikes absorbed 1.67 to 1.35. A defense is 82 to 57. So her defense is decent, even though she's missing a lot and she's throwing a lot. That's odd. Um, here's where it's interesting. Here's where I, I think Aline Perez wins this fight. Takedown average for 15 minutes, 5.19, 51% accuracy, 50% takedown defense on 50, uh, 75 takedown defense for Perez. Not a lot of submissions, obviously. I just think Aline Perez... On top of her striking being pretty good, you know, 58% accuracy. She doesn't absorb it a ton. She doesn't throw a lot, but when she throws, she's very accurate. And she's defense is 57, so she's there to be hit slightly. But um, I think her takedowns are going to be the key factor in this matchup. And no submission uh, wins for Daria as well. But as always, guys, my pick, Aline Perez. By decision, could be a close one with the striking numbers of Daria. Um, Zelisnikov, but I do like Aline Perez. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, let me know you're picking. Peace.